Good evening. I'm Curtis Gladden, assistant principal at uh, Central Junior High School. On behalf of Central Junior High and our staff, I'd like to welcome you to our winter concert. We're very excited and proud of all the hard work that these students have put in to prepare for this concert. Um, and I, was, I would also like to recognize Ms. Jan Bozeman and Mr. Michael Post for their dedication in preparing these students for this event tonight. And uh, without further ado, ladies and gentlemen, the Central Junior High Bands. you all so much for coming this evening. Um, we're just tickled that we're one of the two or three schools in town that got to have a Christmas concert this year. Um, the snow days just got all of us and uh, we're really tickled that we were able to come back and uh, prepare for you this evening. Each man's going to do two selections. Um, those five days would have been nice to have but they weren't to be so we're going to monitor and adjust and move on. I would like to first of all um, thank the administration here, um, Ms. Martfeld, Dr. Brown, Mr. Gladden, we just appreciate so much the support that you give us. There's nothing that we haven't done, asked for that, that hasn't been given to us, and they are just so supportive. Uh, parents, thank you so much for um, washing cars. I wasn't here yet, but thank you for washing cars. The first day I was here, a lot of you came and rode buses with us to watch the marching exhibition at Springdale High School, and uh, I've gotten to meet several of you as we've moved along, and I'm looking forward this next semester to uh, getting to know some of you a whole lot better. 
Um, we just so much appreciate all that you do for us, and uh, it's been a pleasure for me. This group, the I guess it was the fifth day that I was here, we did a concert in the gym, and I hope parents, that if, if you were there, that you're going to hear some improvement with them, and uh, they are just a delight to work with, and we are going to close this portion of the program with a Christmas spectacular. Thank you. You'll be patient with us. We're going to change bands, and um, we'll be right with you. Okay. The set change. We will do this to you one more time in just a second. Um, at this point, I would like to introduce to you the Blue Band and their conductor new to Springdale this year, Mr. Michael Post.
Thank you for joining us this evening. I, I just wanted to take a, a couple moments here to remind you about our social media. If you've been at any, uh, any of our other performances this year, you've probably heard me talk about it. But on the bottom of your program, you'll see Remind 101 updates. Those are text updates that come to your phones. Those are perfect for parents and students. And then also we have our Facebook group. Uh, please, please join that as well. And those two sources, Remind 101 and, and our Facebook group, which is www.facebook.com slash groups slash CJH bands. And again, it's there listed on your program. If you can use those to, to help stay in touch, that'll be great. Um, uh, without further ado, this is our, our next piece on your printed program. Once again, thanks for your patience. The band sitting in front of you is the band that we put on the, on the football field during marching season. And uh, I want you to know, I, I went home and counted. We've had 18 days since the last Veterans Day program and 19 days since our last halftime of um, football playoffs. And in the meantime, we've had band tryouts and 18 days of school. And these ladies and gentlemen have done a remarkable job. They had to make the turnaround really fast from concert, or from marching band into concert band. And uh, it's a work in progress. I do want to warn you. I Now, we've, we've had pretty short concert, and we're going to have you out of here by 8 o'clock. Yay, you. Uh, I don't know what's on TV on Tuesday. Oh, there's a CSI. I bet you can get home in time to watch. Um, <laughs> We want, to, we want to make sure that you understand that this is probably going to be the shortest concert that you get to come to, courtesy of those five snow days. Um, we do appreciate you coming out. We're going to open um, 
this, this part of the concert with a march uh, by Carl King. It's, it's entitled Coast Guards. And you'll hear this again. We're going to save this one and we're going to put it back on the shelf and then re revisit it uh, when we go to concert contest in March. So you're going to hear this one again, but hopefully the next time you'll hear it, we'll have it cleaned up in, in just a little bit more. But this is Carl King, um, the, the March King, and his arrangement of the Coast Guard March. I have to tell you, last time I read what Mr. Post was supposed to say, now I'm going to read what I'm supposed to say. Again, we would like to thank the administration for all of the help and the support, and thank you parents again. Um, our counselors have changed schedules and just helped us immensely, and we have something like this just doesn't occur um, without a lot of help. We've had section people come in and help. Mr. Ford comes in two times a week. Mr. Morris, the Harbor High School Band Directors. Um, let me put my glasses on so I can see who else showed up. Um, Ms. Huffman, the Middle School Band Director. Jessica Watkins, Ed Gay, the Choir Director, comes in and teaches trombone. How nice is that? And Mr. Bozeman comes in and works with our trumpets and will continue to do so. Um, we've been so blessed to have all this extra help and again, the more we can get our kids taught, the happier Mr. Post and I are. Um, I do want to remind you, the next time you're going to hear this band perform 
is March 6th, and we'll be at Springdale High School for the Performing Arts Center. We're going to do a pre-contest concert for you. At that time, we'll play three songs apiece and um, get ready for their assessment the following week. I would like to remind you that horns need to come home after Friday. Contrary to popular belief, we're going to play and learn all the rest of this week. Uh, so they do need their horns. We're going to work hard and continue that. And this band should be working on all region tryouts that occur just the week after we get back from spring or from, from spring break, we wish, don't we, from Christmas vacation. Um, on a personal note, I do want to thank you all for being so patient. I, I told the kids today, um, I don't remember ever coming into a program, um, and I've been around a really long time, I don't remember ever coming into a program um, where children had to make an adjustment like these kids have had to. They've changed directors and right, not right or wrong, but people are just different and I do things different and uh, they've been so gracious. There's not been one day that I haven't left the band room and not been thanked for something. Thank you for doing this for me. Thank you for, thank you for just helping us. And I will, um, their behavior, they come in, they're polite, they do, they have just been exemplary. What I can tell you from 38 years of teaching is that that comes from the home and I cannot tell you how much from one parent and one grandma to, a, to, to you all, thank you so much for raising your children to be polite, kind and courteous and they are just most gracious and I am so appreciative of that. That's not everywhere and I, I get to travel enough and watch bands enough and do bands enough that I want you to know from my heart to yours how much I really appreciate the raising that you and the investment that you put into them. Um, we're going to close this, this program and this evening with um, Elbert Del Borgio's Angels We Have Heard on High. It's really pretty and it's just such a glorious piece of music and hopefully we'll get to play, um, we'll play the music and play it from our hearts for you. So on behalf of Mr. Post and myself, first of all, thank you for sharing your children with us. Secondly, We'd like to wish you a Merry Christmas and hope that you and your family have just a blessed holiday season. Thank you so very much.
Thank you so much. Merry Christmas.